from Petco Park in beautiful downtown San Diego. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now and on the hill here today Matt Waldron and singing we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure he's more calm and settles in he's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position most guys they get a little tight they start to aim the baseball but for some reason he gets looser the ball comes out of his hand with more life and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Got a second. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Cattell Marte. Now he breaks his bat. Solano makes the play. Let's take a look at our lineup and probably their most productive player so far this year, Cattell Marte. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second, and great jump. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ball game. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Man at second. Into the outfield base hit. Carroll rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing. Picks himself up in RBI. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And now it's Christian Walker. Righty delivers. That one That's misses, and it's two and one. And here it comes. On the ground right side, four, six, three. It's a double play, and that'll do it for the end. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's an early one nothing lead. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Petco Park. And towing the slab here, Brandon Fack. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Luis Arise stands in. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Carroll right there to make the grab. And there's one away. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, a guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Luis Arias. Tops on the team in batting average, Boog. A guy who's showing off some excellent bat-to-ball ability when he digs in at the plate. You know, that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going, get a leadoff man on, but it's also incredible to have a guy like that in the lineup because he's a run producer who can drive in runs yeah. if you've got guys on base already. So he's a huge One, two, piece in this lineup. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
And here this afternoon, too quickly away in the bottom of the first. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Padres go down quietly. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And the batter now, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Lourdes Gurriel. And a pitch. Two. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. Got it by him for the K. I mean, trying to hit that pitch immediately after seeing a good fastball on the pitch before, just a brutal task, man. I, I don't envy this at all. You almost have to sit fastball and hope you get one you can put in place so you don't have to deal with the potential of seeing the knuckleball with two strikes. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jake McCarthy. Late with the swing there. One and two is the count. Fights that one away, still one and two. One down, base is empty. High fly ball down the left field line. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there are two outs. Outstanding catch right there, and I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. And that one is lifted in the air on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out, and that'll do it. After an inning and a half, it's one nothing. Here in San Diego, here's For Machado. The, the designated hitter, Manny Machado. And the right hander deals. And Machado able to spoil that pitch. Right hander kicks deals. Got him swinging. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Here's Donovan Solano. He's there. He's got it. And there's two down. That is good. The center field. And here's the rookie center fielder, Jackson Merrill. The wind and the pitch. And that's Ball. a little bit high. It's a good take. Two balls, two strikes. Missed count with a changeup. And the count's full. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. To the right side. Whips it to first. Padres go down one, two, three. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They're down one nothing. New inning getting started, and now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. Tucker Barnhart. 
is a 1 1. Hit hard on the ground to short. Jump throw across his body. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Seeing an impressive jump throw from the hole at short. Let's see what StatCast has to say. Now he's just showing off out there. I mean, I don't know if fans realize how much arm strength you need to make that throw. This guy's got a rocket of an arm, and that was on full display right there. Just an awesome job. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Just misses. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two. And another ball. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. Two gone. Man, that thing just barely got the zone, so you almost can't blame the guy for laying off. I mean, with the way knuckleballs dart all over the place, realistically, that could have just as easily missed by four or five inches. It's such a tough pitch to not overcommit to, so sometimes you just hold up and hope it dances out of the zone. This is Corbin Carroll. That one hit to right. Johnson under this one. Hauls it in to end the inning. Set for the bottom of the third, and the batter will be the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. Pitch misses there, and that's ball two. Wouldn't chase that time. Base now. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then okay. guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard, like you did right there. Kyle Higashioka digs in now. And a 1-1. Fastball for a strike. One, two. Tying run is at first. Here, the last half of the third. And that skips into dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. Got it! One gone, bottom of the third inning. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Bryce Johnson, the next up for the Padres. Pickoff move to first. Kim dives back in safely. Man at first, one away. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw. Save. Barnhart too late with that one. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that pick over, seemed to settle in, and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. One and two here. Ball high. One out, and a runner at second.
We got to think that squirts away a little bit. He's safe at third, and the tying run is 90 feet away. Well, he's got nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home all sorts of ways now. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when they're runners on base. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the righty deals. And it goes foul. just foul. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. Oh, yeah. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Stepping in for San Diego, Luis Arias. Swings and he breaks his bat. And that ends the inning. Padres leave one. They still trail one nothing. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Cattell Marte. Marte. And that drops in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. And he deals. Pop up here, third base side. Solano under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Now that designated hitter, John. Here's Jack Peterson. Next pitch in for a strike. One and two. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. That's out to center field. He's got it. And there's two away. Now the first base. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks, Christian Walker. That right one here. finds the zone. Now one and two. Two outs, base is empty. That's, That's low. a little That's bit low. and miss struck him out and it's a three up three down inning so one two three go to Diamondbacks they lead it one nothing bottom four now batting jerks in pro four when he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. Swings over the top of that one. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Tapped in front of the plate. Pro far is out. The back. The second baseman. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth, a seventh round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan, where he was a two way guy. And in fact, the Rays ball, used him that down. way. And another ball. Back 
back up the middle and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. The back. The dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced, so I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Manny Machado up to the plate. Home team down a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Cromenworth around second, heading for third. Oh, the throw is wild. Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So up next, Donovan Solano. The pitch. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Bird. That one at 95 missed up top. It's two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Jackson Merrill in the San Diego on deck circle. And a pitch. And they're all loaded up. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. So bases loaded with one away. So digging in now for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. A 1-1. One -one. That one ripped, but foul. Riding to the plate. Swings and misses, struck him out. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Two outs. Foul ball still a one and two count. This one lifted in the air, left field. Base hit, one run is in. Tag and he's out at the play. Long throw for the third out. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. On to the top of the fifth we go. All tied, 1-1. One, one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Lourdes Gurriel, Jr. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's one and two. Righty delivers. Bows it off, still one and two. The pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Even though center fielders are amazing at tracking down balls these days, there's still a lot of wind out there, and it's a big field. So if you hammer one to center like that, there's a decent chance you're picking up extra bases. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. 
And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Jake McCarthy. On the outside corner. That is strike two. No outs. Runner on second. Ground ball up the middle. Kim with the throw to first. One away here in the fifth. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. One away with a runner at third. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one is absolutely belted on the move. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double as a run scores on the play. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run, and that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. One out, runner at second. Now the D-backs catcher, Tucker Barnhart. That's a strike. Runner at second here, one gone. On a line, out towards center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now it's the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. The shortstop oh. takes a ball. 2-1. Runner at second, two down. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Padres one. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle Higashioka. Higashioka. Swing and a miss as he was late. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That one missed. That's a really good take. Two two now. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Up next. Bryce Johnson, the next up for the Padres. Johnson. The D-backs up by a run. Last half of inning number five. Good job to fight that one off. One down, base is empty. And that's in the dirt. Right side. And that quickly, two away. Now that the first base. Back to the top of the lineup, Luis Arias will hit next. 
Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Walker That's takes it to the bag. Three up, three down, inning over. Padres go down quietly, and our score remains 2-1. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's the first out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's Cattell Marte. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. In the air, center field. In position. And makes the grab. That's out number two. The bat, number three. Designated hitter. Two outs, base is empty. And now Jack Peterson. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Hard hit, left side. High throw to first, and he can't reach it. That's a case where he just pushed the throw a little bit, didn't stay on top of it, didn't find the release point, and it gave him no chance at first base to come down with it. I know he won't be happy with himself on that one. Runner at first with two away. Now, Christian Walker. A strike at the bottom of the zone. Walker. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that will end the inning. So no runs on no hits. One error and a runner left. Two, three, four due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Padres one. Bottom of the sixth inning, stepping in for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. The pitch. Profar gets a piece there. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. Ah, that hit him. That him and man. the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there <laughs> instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. One one now and another ball activity in the Arizona bullpen Justin Martinez getting loose out there Sacconi also getting ready with the tying run on at first here in the bottom of the sixth Two down. Battling here as he fouls it away. They're all set to throw pitch number 100. He needs a quick inning here if he's going to be able to make it through six complete. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time 
A little anxious. Here's Manny Machado. And a pitch. The other way. And that's just foul. One run game. One out. One on. Next offering misses down and away. Donovan Solano waits on deck. And ball four to a board. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short. Starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Here comes the skipper. And we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Brandon Fack gives way. He exits with the lead. And gave them a really nice performance. New pitcher on the bump when we get back. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Slade Ciccone. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Next for the Padres, Donovan Solano. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And strike two. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. In the dirt, nothing happening on the bases, though. Runners at first and second with one gone. This one belted deep left field on his way gone. He powers that one out of here. And now they're out in front. It's 4 2. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. One down. Now at the plate, Jackson Merrill. Two that one. one misses. And a count two and one. Still only one out here in the inning. Lined in the left center, base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Checks over to first, back safely. At the play, Hassan Kim. That one to first, and it finds its way through for a hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Even though he was really late on it, he clearly barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line. He had to be really short with that swing, not get beat by that pitch. One away, runners at first and third. Now it's going to be Kyle Higashioka. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One and two, the count. At the belt and fires. Slider two, two. misses outside. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. First and third, one down. 
Sacconi checks the runner, and he's back in there. Kicks and fires. Roll to short, could be two. Perdomo to second, that's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. So a three-run shot for the Padres here. It's now 4-2. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jeremiah Estrada. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. And it's Lourdes Guriel Jr. The left fielder, Lourdes Guriel. And a pitch. That's outside. And the count's full. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Wandy Peralta, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Kolek, the right-hander, also getting loose. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Jake McCarthy. The pitch. Misses outside. And a count two and one. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Left-hand hitter waits. Still two and two after the foul ball. And here it comes. Pitch misses there. Three and two now. The Padres holding on to a two-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Safely into second. He's got a double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Put a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. Man at second with one away. Now the third baseman, A. Eugenio Suarez. Pitch misses inside. Two and one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The tying run at the plate. Fouled off. He was late. You've got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you've got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Wandy Peralta. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Tucker Barnhart stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Tying run at the plate. Runner takes off. Pitch is low. Throw to third. He's safe. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Two 
two outs and one in scoring position. Rolled over to third, Solano. Zips it across, and that is that. One left for Arizona. They trail it here, four to two. Back here in San Diego, set for the last half of the seventh. So digging in now for San Diego, Bryce Johnson. Here's a 1-1. Right back to him on the mound. Fires over to first. One up, one down. The first baseman, number four, Luis Arias. So the batting order turns over. Luis Arias, the next up for the Padres. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Swings through that one. Good late sink on that two fastball. Two. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. In the air, left side. Guriel trying to get there. Out number two. Now batting. The left fielder. Guriel. Two outs, base is empty. Profar climbs in on that left side. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Three up, three down for San Diego as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. And we're back for the top of the eight. And now the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Perdomo. And the pitch. And right back to the mound. Gets it to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The Padres up by two. And we're in the top of the eighth. On the ground to the left. Throws across the diamond. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Two out, space is empty. Next to hit for Arizona, Cattell Marte. Here comes a pitch. And it's fouled away. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Kicks and deals. Off the no, mark there. Man. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Good Swings strike. and misses. Struck him out. Diamondbacks down quickly. Still down by a count of four to two. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Justin Martinez. 63. Big swing and miss Justin. stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Three, four, five do up for the home team. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth. And that one fouled off. The one two. And they'll do it again. And the right hander deals. 
fights that one away still one and two right hander kicks deals no that's down ball good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with you're better off taking that pitch righty to the plate foul ball another 2-2 two -two upcoming Line drive. That's a base hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. Got a change up and a pretty good one, too. Outside corner, but he just got extended and put the barrel on it. Showed he has a lot of plate coverage on that swing right there. And now it's Manny Machado. He swings and fouls one off. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Fights it off. He'll see another. Righty deals. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Grinding AB right here, about to see pitch number 10. Inside ball, ball four. four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, oh, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. And a pitch. Late that time, and it's strike two. Boom. That's cheddar, baby. First and second, no outs. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. And another no, ball. Out. Line drive, base hit, around third. He'll score, and they lead by three. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through to the middle of the field. Stepping in for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. In the air on the infield. And the infield, infield fly, fly rule call. Now battle. Shortstop. Pass young kill. So digging in, Ha Sung Kim. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival. Take your game to another level. Two on, one out. And a swing and a miss there. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Kevin Ginkle appears to be getting loose. Number 49, getting loose as well. The punch out there. That's out number two. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. The next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. Two on, two outs. Out towards left center. Sizes this one up. And the inning is over. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. Last chance coming up for the D-backs.
We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Robert Suarez. And he's been fantastic this year, really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to score up. The pitch. Peterson tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. Eric Summerskill with the call. Now fly ball to right center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One down. He's two outs away. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. One down, base is empty. Pop foul out of play off to the right. One, two now. Just nope, off outside. the outside Ball. part of the plate. The pitch. That one ripped. Johnson going back on this one. On the running track. And holds it in. So they're down to their final out. Here's Guriel. The Padres leading by three here at the top of the ninth. This could end it. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and two. Check swing on the 2 2. Appeal to first. Yes, he did. It's ruled a swing and a strikeout, and this ball game is over. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch.